Okay, so this week's Pasha is Shalaf Lecha, and I'm going to share one of Rabbi Sachs' ideas that I read earlier this week. So just before I start, I'm going to recap the story of the Pasha. So Moshe sends 12 men to kind of check out the land of Israel before they all journey there. And when they return, they come back carrying a huge cluster of grapes, a pomegranate and a fig, reporting a lush and bountiful land. Um, ten of the men say that the people of the land are giants and that their cities will be impossible to conquer. But on the contrary, two men, Yehoshua and Caleb, state that with God's help, everything will be fine and they can kind of conquer the land. So the people weep that they'd rather return to Egypt and they're scared by what they've learned. And Hashem comes angry at the people's lack of faith and he threatens to destroy them. Um, Moshe obviously doesn't like this and he prays on behalf of his people and God relents and he instead decides that the people must spend 40 years in the desert whereby their entire generation will die naturally and then their children will enter the land of Israel. So the pastor then goes on to include a list of laws about sacrifices, challah, and for forgiveness when you commit sins by mistake. Um, it tells a story of a man who purposely breaks Shabbat by gathering sticks and he's put to death. So it's a lot of malachot. Um, and then it ends with the laws of Sitzit. And obviously we know that becomes the third paragraph of the Shema. So understanding our life story is important for making the right decisions. So sometimes we need to ask what's going on before deciding how we react. And we can learn this by studying this week's parasha. We may think we already know this story. As I've said before, Moshe sent 12 spies to explore the land. 10 came back with a negative tone. The land is good, but it's unconquerable. Um, the people are strong, the cities are indestructible, the inhabitants are giants, and compared to them, we're like grasshoppers. And then we have Joshua and Caleb who saw things differently. And they said, we can win, the land is good, God is on our side, and with his help, we can't fail. Um, in this reading, Joshua and Caleb have faith, they have courage and confidence while the other 10 men didn't. And this is hard. And although it's hard to understand, all of these men knew that God was with them despite their negativity. Um, he saved them from Egypt. The Israelites had just defeated the Amalekites. So how could these 10 men who were all leaders and princes not know that they could defeat the inhabitants of the land? Um, we need to ask what's really going on here. And when we look deeper, we see Biblical Hebrew has two verbs that mean to spy. So there's lachpo and there's loragel, which we get the word muraglim, which means spies. Um, it's important to note that neither of these words appear in our Pasha. And instead, no less than 12 times, we encounter the, the rare verb latur. This verb was revived in modern Hebrew and means to tour. Um, tayar is a tourist. So although everyone says that these 12 men were spies, in reality, um, they were simply just tourists. Um, and Malbim explains the difference simply. So Latour means to seek out the good. And that's what tourists do. Um, they go to the beautiful, the, magnificent, the in magnificent, the inspiring. They don't spend their time trying to find out what's bad. So Lachpur and Naragal are the opposite. And they're about discovering a place's weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And that's what spies do. The exclusive use of the verb Latour in our Pasha, sorry, there's a lot of words to kind of get your head around. Um, La Torah is repeated 12 times to tell us that the 12 men were not sent to spy. Um, their mission was actually La Torah, which is to explore and report on the good things of the land so that the people would know it was worth fighting for, not to find out if it was possible to conquer it. But sadly, only two men understood this mission. However, in the end, everything was fine. So that was just like a quick idea that I saw from Rabbi Sachs kind of like the misconception that these 12 men were spies when in reality they were just touring the land and it was more of a positive thing so yeah wishing everyone Shabbat Shalom and hopefully I'll see you all soon Voila. very good Maddie. Cleaning. Go on, well done, Maddie. Get, get back to your cleaning now You've got no excuse. I will. <laughs> thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Shabbat shalom, everyone. I'm going to, put it, I'm going to send you the file, Maddie. No, she's gone. Anyway, <laughs> I'll tell her. You know, all right, thank you.